Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Uh, yeah. Uh, we may have our seats. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome all of us back to our sanctuary. Karibuni sana, Tanisa pia. Atunashukuru mungu kwa siku hii leo. It's a blessing to be here. Sini kweli? Uh, I just want to proceed to the word, and it's a short word. Uh, first of all, there is no visitors, yeah? I'm still Peter Kamoche, born again. Uh, the word uh, comes from uh, 1 Peter 5.10. And it talks about, after you have suffered a little while, then I, the Lord, will restore you, will heal you, will place you in a better place. But uh, the, uh, that's the theme of the church, and uh, I want to see it from a point where we, I want to relate it with even something that has happened a week ago, yeah? Our favorite black superhero, Chadwick Bosman, Wakanda forever, sin kweli? Uh, funny enough to me personally, I don't even like science fiction that much or these hero stuff movies. I don't know, I don't see Yotongi Abadai, but I don't like them that much. But for Wakanda, I guess all of us to depend on Wakanda. But there is something that Niliangalia from another perspective. We all understand that he died from colon cancer four years and then. What a, what, a, what, a, what a courageous man to even act while facing all that, you know, all that trouble. But then again, I got to ask myself, and I posted this on Facebook, how are we looking at this thing, yeah? Are we glorifying suffering? Or do we understand, you know, that Maybe the world is not perfect, and suffering has a reason to it. Why am I saying this? Based on this verse of today, after you have suffered a while, uh, if one does not understand the purpose of suffering and the context of that suffering, you know, the real meaning of suffering, according to God's meaning, yeah, you may end up on the wrong side of the understanding, and you may miss the actual, the eventual, the intended purpose of it all. Just like the Israelites during the, their journey through the wilderness, they missed the understanding of suffering, and in the end, they missed their promise, they missed Canaan. So why have I tied all that up together? Because I would like us to understand the purpose of suffering. And then you ask yourself, is it suffering the way you have been seeing it, or is suffering according to God's eyes? Let's start with the world. The world says, There's nothing for free, huh? there's nothing like a free lunch. Uh, the world says, If it comes easy, it will go easy. The world says, uh, Do you know the price I've paid for this? Where do you think you have? I can give it to you easy, you know, such things, yeah? That is the world we live in. So we have all been cultured to believe things have to be hard. You have to struggle, you know? So in fact, when you listen to people's testimonies, including even the church, you know, you ask yourself, is church all about crying, yeah? Because uh, there are people who say, I suffered. I tell you, man, I suffered through life, man. There was trouble in my life. We used to sleep hungry. We you know, it become you know, it, it may even seem as if we are glorifying suffering, yeah? To a point where now something we can relate to. Uh, let me just highlight on politics a bit. We have come to a point of dynasties versus hustlers. You know, it's as if we hate the rich child, yeah? It's as if being born rich is a crime, yeah? Because you have not suffered, you know. You found your parents you know, with cars, houses, and I always wonder, 
personally I want to be rich, yeah, so that my kids can all drive nice cars, yeah, by the time they are 18, yeah, get your driving license, drive, yeah. But why have we come to a point where we all believe suffering has to be there? What happens when you become rich? Will you not give your children the best so that they suffer, so that they have a story? You understand the point I'm trying to put across now? Chadwick Boseman is a great hero, even to me. But would, let's ask ourselves, would we honor him, see him as that superhero still, if he had not gone through cancer? You know, are you, trying, are you getting the, the point I'm making? But if he was healthy, would we celebrate him still? You understand? Now, coming back to God, the suffering of God is not, is not of the world, yeah? And that's why Jesus, in another verse, said, unless a seed dies first. It's all about a process. It's not about making you feel pain. You know, it's not punishment. You, you understand now? The other side of God, yeah? It's not punishment. It is because unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, it cannot bear fruit. It's a process of leaving Egypt where you are used to certain things so that you can get to Canaan where things are different. You know, it's one kingdom to the other kingdom, yeah? Even if you are moving houses, yeah? You have to unpack everything then in the next house, most likely you not even pack the same things the way you had packed them. Sinio, utabadilisha sofa, sasa itakuwe na kaivi. Ninatagemea na saidi enye soke tiko. You know, such things, yeah? The suffering is for a reason. So that you, so that God gets out the things that make us fall in this world, yeah? You know, so that God gets away the jealousy. So that God gets away the lies. You know, we all know what we refer to as sin, yeah? That is the purpose of suffering. It's not punishment. And if you don't even understand that, salvation in itself could be a very hard thing. Because you would say, now God is punishing me for the years, I've been a sinner. And yet, if we read another verse and then say God is contradicting himself in the Bible by saying, I have forgiven you, I chose you, I loved you before, you love me, you know. You may start confusing things, thinking God is punishing you, yet he says, I even forgave you. I died on the cross and it is all finished. How is it finished if I'm going through suffering? You understand now? So I would like us to see and differentiate that, yeah? I'm only highlighting things, yeah? I don't want to get into details, time constrictions. But let's understand that for God, suffering is to remove things from you it's a process for where you have to remove things we have been told here that unless you participate in the process it will not you know it's a choice yeah you have to decide will i stop being a liar you decide you can continue there's another verse in jeremiah that says whoever trusts in the hand of man is cast yeah and uh, if you use this COVID uh, situation, yeah, right now, even if you are to struggle, you know, let's use that struggle, suffer. Even if you are to suffer so much and try to, you know, business, you know, hustle, hustle hard. You know, it's not about suffering. And unless we come back to God and see, Let's celebrate that in God there is rest. And let us desire rest. Me personally, in fact, in Gavish, in Gezali, I wish I was born rich, man. You know, nothing but my parents. You understand the point I'm making, yeah? But unless we understand that we need to desire rest in God, we need to come to me, for my burden is light and my yoke is easy. You know, come to Kana where there is rest. God's promises are all about rest. Don't focus on the suffering. It's all for a time. You know, Tunasamaga, suffering may endure for the night, but in the morning, that's a verse, a verse in the Bible. No. Let's focus more on the rest than on the suffering. I think we have focused so much on suffering in this world, unless your testimony has suffering, 
you see as if you have not gone through things you are alive you are you are not hard enough for this life kuna kuna watu wanasema wanataka kuingia kama siasa wanaitwa masleki atijua wajapitia kazi ngumu kama watu wengine wamepigania siasa for long you get no 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 it's about rest my, my friend yeah so let's focus more on rest as we come to a close yeah let's focus more on rest understand god's rest purpose then the many years god wants us to live are more of rest than suffering anyway yeah? everyone in the bible suffered but rested more in heaven we live for eternity forever and ever and ever if you imagine even that forever and ever una imagine to yani you know even if you suffer the whole of this world yeah 70 years in heaven you have 10000 years at least you know you know so let's focus more on rest and see that it's about god's grace it's about god's power not our own struggles our struggles may cause us so much suffering but in god's grace there's joy even as you go through these troubles in god's grace there is easiness it's the favor you know ile tunasema it's favor so let's focus more on favor on grace yeah, okay if you have suffered you have suffered it's all part of life everyone has a journey kuna mtu atasafa sana there is someone who will suffer just a bit yeah we all understand the world can never be perfect yeah there will always be a poor man a sick person yeah but beyond that let's focus always on eternity on the future on god if you place your eyes on god they are the finish of your faith uh, suffering don't glorify suffering live through it and then pass through it but focus more on where we are, we will end up all in rest you know as a choice yeah salvation yeah and that is the sermon of today praise god amen amen tunaza omba all right uh, dear lord god almighty We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. But more so we thank you for your purpose. For your purpose is greater than even what we understand. We thank you for your purpose in the end. For you know what the ending before the beginning is to give us rest a home. That's why you went and told us that you have built for us homes in heaven where there is even a street of gold. Give us the grace, give us the wisdom and understanding to see that it is by your hand by your grace to see that there is a place called home heaven to remember and number our days correctly so that we don't get de- deceived in the ways of the world but rather focus on you Jesus Christ as you said it is finished and we thank you for your work on the cross forgive us our sins guide and protect us in your name we pray and believe amen amen